Is 22 years of an age difference too much? Age is just a number. A woman is as old as she looks, and a man is as old as the women he feels. As the old saying goes. And women like older, more mature guys, because typically dudes their own age is they ain't got a he ain't got their act together. What Except if, unless you're Caroline and you like Robin Cradles. Well, that's what I was going to say. What if I've joined that train at Cougar Town. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jocelyn. Caroline and I are riding the caboose How together. Do you know that she's not the older one. 22 years is very far fetched. If you were alive for 22 years and they aren't even existing yet, that's weird. That's too much for me. Depending on what the age frame, I would, I don't know. Is like is she's he... twenty two, he's forty four. Okay, I think. See, I think that would be kind of weird because what if she's your, like your mindset are not in the same ways. Mm-mm. But unless he's um, or vice versa, if the other person's like thirty and then they're fifty or up uh, above, then I think it's fine. But if it's younger, then it, it is. It doesn't. It only affects for sexual activities and fun times. Honestly. Everything, I feel like. They're on a whole different mind. If she's 22, she's probably still in college, well, still she's figuring she's out life, family. still living at home, she's, probably. She wants to start a family? Yeah. Yes. 22, but she's... But what if it was the other way around? Would the woman's she's older? 22 and she wants to start a family? If he's 22, he's in a frat party and with a bunch of girls and he drinking wants to start beers. A family? Like, she, is she able probably, to start a family? She's yeah, living off her course. ex-husband's money and playing with her sugar, uh, baby. Her sugar baby. Yeah. Sleeping the with pool the pool guys. Yeah. yeah. I say if they're 40 and above, then it's okay. Yeah. But even 30-year-olds are still going through a very fun living life, you know? Yeah. It's been all throughout human history. Men can pretty much have kids almost until the day they die unless they got major health issues. There's a lady. She was 65. She just had a baby. Mm-hmm. Or was she 75? I don't remember. Well, there was one uh, grandma, I don't know, about 10 years ago. She was artificially inseminated, I think it was. She had, well, there's one she that had just kids had when she was 65. I think she might have had her own grandkids. I think it was her daughter's. I think she might have had her daughter's kids or something like that. No, this happened recently. This she was an older lady and she had a baby. But this was in a foreign country, though I think. Why are you so funny? <laughs> We're not going to talk about what I want to say, but yeah, we know we know somebody who's done some stuff like this. Oh wow! Done some stuff like what? Um, that. A family member couldn't have kids, so somebody else had to carry oh, the kids. Wait. Yeah, we're not, gonna, we're not going. We're not going to talk have, about like sex with the did person to have the kids. Yeah, we did. We or did. maybe we did. it was a surrogate. Did you no. guys see that story in Germany where this guy, his neighbor? Oh, that was great. <laughs> yeah. That was what? great. <laughs> Woman, yeah, was... woman's like a former beauty queen, and uh, so I think they're next. They were next door neighbors, if I'm not mistaken. I saw a picture of the girl. She had black hair. She was hot. And uh, so the guy she was married to was sterile, so he didn't have any kids. And he basically went to his next door neighbor, who was also a friend, and said, "Hey, can you can you hook my would Would you please sleep with my wife and get her pregnant? Because I'm totally sterile." And he's like, oh, you know, and he went to his, this this guy's married and he's got kids, so he goes to his own wife and uh, and you know, he's paying me. I was like twenty five hundred bucks or whatever it was to basically have sex with his wife until he knocked her up. And so for like six months, he's just, and the guy's like, what the hell? And like, what's going on? So finally this guy goes, you know, the neighbor goes and, you know, gets tested. And it turns out he's sterile as well. (laughs) And then the problem is is he's got kids with his wife. And that's how he found out his kids were not his. His kids. Oh, snap. So who, who, who's the baby daddy? There's no Neither one of them. No. <laughs> what the hell? Did they find out? Well, well, yeah, they found out. Because no, and, and they the guy, out the guy's we... like, I want my money back. You're sterile. And he's like, my kids aren't even my own kids. <laughs> Wait, did he find out who his kids That's were in the end? Uh, I don't know that part. I just know it was pretty fun. Why don't you call Mari and ask him? That's a crazy story. What? Mari. Weird things happen, man. Let's call him. Or help me, Howard. <laughs>